Good morning, guys. We are here with the one and only Coach McCann. How are you doing this morning? Jalen, how are you? I'm doing well. All right, so we want to talk to you a little bit about the up-and-coming basketball season. So what things are you and the team doing to prepare for the season? Well, we've had our players uh, doing workouts throughout the summer and fall. They've been playing in leagues. Uh, they've been working out with personal trainers, uh, strength training to try to grow some muscles. You know, we always like to have a little strength in our players in our program. Um, and just, you know, going over the basics and making sure they're ready to go for the season. Do you think the team is prepared to have a good season this year? Uh, we certainly hope so. We're in the, the final stretch here of, of preseason preparation, you know, getting physicals in and uh, checking those boxes and, and just hoping that all the players are, you know, coming into next Monday ready to go and, uh, you know, looking to put some hard work in. What players do you think are going to, you know, step up into bigger roles this year to help you guys succeed? It's a great question. You know, we, we're a very young team. We have one returning senior. Um, we have several juniors, several sophomores, and including Jalen here as one of our guards. You know, we're looking for certainly those juniors and sophomores to grow into leadership roles and really, you know, kind of take the reins of the program and steer it for the next few years. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you think is going to be your biggest challenge this year playing against? Uh, well, always the, the schools like St. Joe, St. Thomas, they're very tough. Their rosters, you know, a lot of college players on there. Um, but it really remains to be seen. South Brunswick is a, a public school that has – traditionally been very good. Um, they've lost a lot of players, so they may be down. Um, so it's really kind of a crapshoot. I, I would guess out of the public schools we play, probably Colonia would be one of the toughest. They, they often are very good. It's a very tough place to play. They have a, a very small little gym over there that they really kind of put the pressure on you. So going more into that, why do you think, like, what, what's the weakness on the team? That uh, We're not a very tall team. Uh, you know, size is, is, a, is a, an issue with rebounding, defense sometimes. So we really have to collectively, you know, work on rebounding, work on doing all the little things to kind of compensate for that. And ultimately, you know, as we talked about with the young players, leadership, you know, is very important. Uh, Adam Sheree last year was our senior point guard. He really kind of, you know, drove the boat for us, put, it, put us in the right direction, organized things. So we need people to, to step in those roles because when you go to a place like a Colonia or one of these other schools, if things don't go well, you need somebody, you know, other than the coaches to say, okay, we got this, that it's going to be out there on the floor kind of directing things. So the final question, how many wins do you think the team can have this season? Oh, no. On the spot with numbers, I would, I, I would be uh, hesitant to give an actual number. Certainly, we just want to be competitive. You know, obviously, we strive to have a winning record. We, we want to win as many games as possible. Um, you know, but a lot of that also factors into – you know, making the county tournament, getting a good seed, because a lot of times, too, being the best, you know, or being a high seed or this or that doesn't necessarily ensure good things, right? You want to have a good position that maybe puts you on a good path to having a, a run to a state playoff, because if you get a good seed, you may play this team that we match up well against, or we match up this team, and then you have a, you know, a good path to take a shot at winning. All right, thank you for your time, Coach Ken. Appreciate it, Jalen. Thank you.